With each soul I claim, my power grows exponentially. I am born of stardust and ancient spells, a living legend. Embrace the shadows, for in darkness lies true strength. Your dark arts are no match for my righteous fury. Surrender to the darkness, and I'll show you pleasures beyond mortal comprehension. Sisters of the night, let our combined power shake the foundations of the earth. We are the twilight between two worlds, feared by both. Hello everyone, today I want to talk about AI video models and recent news happening on the internet. The first one we're going to discuss is Meta AI's movie gen. As you can see, this is pretty decent. Their demo videos show very clear water and everything. Let's check out the features of movie gen. They're going to create it for their platforms, which is in Meta right now. The features aren't open for users to use yet. As I've checked in Meta AI, they're just based on the chatbot features using Llama 3.2 and their image generation features in Meta AI. I believe that will happen as they claim. This is going to involve video editing for existing videos and transforming your personal images into unique videos as well. That means it's going to use image to video features in Meta AI and also existing video editing you'll likely be able to use your Facebook or Meta profiles where you have your photos, etc., and use that as your own AI models to create you as a character, for example, to generate videos like that. Their video quality is very similar to what we've seen in other AI video generators, the new generations of AI video models we see right now, such as Runway, Kling AI, and lots of their competitors having similar quality and features. Look at this one. This is something like using a SAM2 to segment this light turning into a bubble or a bubble turning into a light. It's going to be tracking objects and based on that, editing each image frame in these videos. This looks like text to video generation based on what they've mentioned here, the text input summaries. So this is like a text prompt. Maybe we can use the text prompt in Meta AI and generate videos based on the text here to call the chatbot to create videos for us, etc. This is going to be very exciting for the AI video segment in the AI industry or the internet industry right now, with lots of big players and new startup companies creating AI video models using transformer architecture to create coherent and consistent styles of video generation. I've seen a lot of people featuring this water pool video clip, but I kind of like the actions of this one because personally, my goal of learning how to use AI videos was to create action movies. I see this guy flickering the fires in a circle, which tells me that if this AI model is released, it's going to understand human action movements like hands flicking fires like this. This looks very interesting because you don't see those fast motions happening in Runway or other AI video models demos when they launch their new AI models. Also, this water surfing video clip has some kind of fast motion that doesn't happen in other AI video models when we saw them launch their marketing page. This one looks pretty nice with slow or fast motion. They can create such video clips with very consistent styles and all the objects are coherent. Also, this video clip of the monkeys in a natural hot spring looks like it's in Japan. Those styles of hot spring baths with the smoke from the water create a very nice effect. I see this is, you know, if this is true from what is coming from the generated result, it is better than what we see in other AI value generators available on the market right now. So yeah, Really looking forward to having the Meta AI Movie Gen models available to try out. This is another video editing feature from them. I guess it's going to use SAM2 to segment the human character in the middle of the screen. And then you can do text prompt editing of that human. This one is turning the background from a desert to getting more plants around the sand, etc. So, yep. It looks pretty promising if that's what's coming out from the generated result. But still, this is kind of a mystery. At this moment, they don't have any announcement of when this is going to be available for users in Meta AI or if it's available for open source download like Elama 3. We don't have any information yet, 
they've just announced the research paper showing the benchmark, how awesome it is, etc. One thing I'm questioning is their benchmarking for these AI models. In their research paper, they've shown some benchmarking using their models compared with other models. I kind of question this now because they're also showing this result in their blog post. I'll share this link to their research team's blog post. When you zoom into this chart here, which is also available in their research paper, it shows the video generation benchmarking from Runway Gen 3, OpenAI Sora, and Kling AI 1.5. They're saying that their overall net win rate has these numbers, and I kind of doubt the OpenAI Sora comparison. I mean, yes, for Runway Gen 3 and Kling AI, the meta team people might be able to create an account and try those out. But I question if OpenAI Sora provides access for meta AI people to do benchmarking and try out hundreds or thousands of video generations to create such benchmark numbers. So I'm not sure what these benchmark numbers stand for if they're compared with OpenAI Sora. As we all know, OpenAI Sora is not available for everyone to use. Unless you're an artist or movie director or a named one in the Hollywood industry, etc., you might be invited to access OpenAI Sora. But if the people at OpenAI know that the testers are coming from Meta or Facebook, I doubt they'd allow people to gather their information or data. So I question this benchmark of OpenAI Sora. That's overall what I saw in this news about what they think. But so far, I see their features are pretty cool. Other than video editing, they're also available for audio generation. Based on the videos showing on the screen, the AI models are able to generate sound effects for that video clip. Yeah, and again, you guys can check this out. I'll share this link, and you can play around with this video player and see how that's happening. So far, I see that their video models are claiming to have 30 billion parameters using transformer models. I was assuming right previously when I tested COG Video X AI models that the 5 billion parameter models have those performances. And if training up a larger size of that model, we're able to have a better result that's similar to what Kling AI 1.0 or Runway Gen 3 Turbo, some kind of quality like that. I assume that will be about 12 to 20 billion parameters to reach such quality. So I was guessing that, right, if we have that range of parameter size AI models. But the problem is that if you have a larger size parameter, over 7 billion parameters AI models, it's hard to run on a local PC. Even my NVIDIA 4090 is kind of struggling to run a 20 billion parameter size AI model locally. So that's something that kicks a lot of people's hopes and fantasies of hoping this kind of quality AI video model can be run locally on a PC. Well, if you have an H100 GPU, then of course you can put that in your home and run that on your local PC. But for normal consumer hardware configurations, I think it's kind of hard to run that on a local PC. So that's all I have for this news. The next one is going to be Kling AI. What I just mentioned is that they have something new other than 1.0. They have 1.5 that we showed in previous videos, and now they have the lip sync features. As you can see, the characters are not just staying still in the same facial expressions. And like this video clip, I imported audio, and it's able to detect the audio to make the lips move like how normal characters talk. This is going to have an icon on the generated result list here showing the lips. So it represents the lip sync generated videos. And that is the normal AI generated videos using image to video features. As you can see, there's nothing going on with the face. I've done a few demos using this lip sync and played around with some good quality detailed images like this one. It's clearly very good lip sync on synchronizing with the voice that I've imported for the audio. How it does this is pretty simple actually. This lip sync feature is only able to support 5 and 10 second lengths of video. So if you extend your AI video to over 10 seconds, it won't enable this button called the match mouth type button on your generated result. If you have a 5 second or 10 second video, like for example that I have previously in here, like this one, the 10 second video, I have the match mouth type button enabled and you can click this button and it will pop up. 
This pop-up control panel allows you to upload your MP3 or any audio files that are supported here. It will match the mouth of the character and you can click the ellipsis and it will process that whole generation that has this animation of the characters moving along with your audio. I'll play all these generated results at the end of this video so you guys can check it out. The cons of Kling AI Lip Sync is that it doesn't allow you to detect multiple people in one video clip. For example, back then in Runway, I tried when I had a video scene like this with three people, and it was able to detect multiple faces. In the control panel, you could choose the face and add the audio sound on that face to process that generation. It allowed you to have different timelines. So for example, the first person speaks first, the second person speaks the second line, and so on. The third person continues. But for Kling AI, it doesn't have such logic in this system. So I think that they're kind of hasty, you know, maybe they're too quick to hurry to launch something. So therefore, they don't have such actions in here. I can do one demo here using this video clip. So for example, the mouth match process. And once you're done with this, you can bring, you can drag and drop MP3 or any supported audio files on top of here, waiting for upload. And once it's uploaded, it will show the MP3 timeframes here. So the timeline, if that's more than five seconds in your MP3, you can cut and trim the length of that to apply for lip sync. So that's a pretty simple way to use the lip sync. And that's what Kling AI is offering right now. This one got the face detection of whichever multiple characters for that, as I tried it before. So it just keeps one character talking for each lip sync generation. So those are the pros and cons of each AI video editor. In the world you know, I am but a shadow, a whisper on the edge of perception. You see me as one of your own, a young woman with secrets hidden behind her eyes. My ears lengthen to hear the songs of the ancient trees. My eyes shift to see beyond the veil of your mortal world. The blood of the unseelie court flows through my veins, as potent as the oldest magic. Carefully, mortals, for in my world, every step could lead to wonder or to peril. The choice, as always, is yours. In this realm of twilight and enchantment, I am Moira Shadowweave, daughter of the dark forest, weaver of secrets and keeper of forgotten lore.